Welcome to sunny Portugal. Um, I wish. Today we are going to be doing the Portuguese Grand Prix. The layout that is on the screen just here is the layout we are going to be doing today. Next episode will apparently also be the Portuguese Grand Prix. The only difference to the track is this little corner here is added in. Um, last, it was a bit of a disappointing performance last Grand Prix, so I'm hoping we might be able to pick it up, get a bit close to the points. I'm hoping for a 13th, 12th place finish. Who knows? We'll see. Um, there's no rain expected, as you can see. It's an interesting track. It's a definitely a longer track than the last one we went to. So, fingers crossed it all goes well, and I'll see you guys for qualifying. Right, so here we are for qualifying. It was a 5th and an 11th place in practice. Latifi getting that 5th and George in 11th. Um, Latifi did go on sauce right at the end, which helped him get that position. So today we're going to go on soft tyre and qualifying trim. Try and help Latifi out. Actually, we'll go race trim. Oh no, quality is qualifying. What am I about? And then the same for Russell. We're just going to change the setup slightly. Obviously soft during qualifying, it has to be soft. Um, I think we need to change that so he gets a bit more out of his, um, a bit more out of his top speed. There we go. So that's Latifi sorted. George wants more downforce. Can't say I blame him, in all fairness. We're going to go with that for George and softs we will take qualifying and hope we can get out of Q1 um, so we're going to send out the Tifi first this time round and then George will follow Trying to get the temps down at the moment. There we go. So he's got perfect tyres, but not great brakes. Who's going to go fastest? Russell went faster than the Tifi by quite a margin. But it's nothing special from either, I don't think. Oh no, Russell, Russell is up in 12th. That's quite decent. Um, we will be sending out Latifi again. So he can have another go. And Russell will obviously go out as well. Both of these onto this green bit. Just to slowly warm up these temps. Get him into there. He started to overheat, so it took time to slow down. That's perfect. And he had perfect tyres. Okay, so who can do what?
Latif goes green in sector one, as does Russell, so both are improving at the moment. Latif goes green in sector two, as does Russell. Let's see if he improves a little bit, and Russell! Russell goes fourth! Wow! That should be enough to get us through. Latifi... He's not even round yet to get back in. How long's the lap? About 117. We'd have to send him out now. There's still no guarantee he'd actually make it round. How many tyres has he got left? Are we wasting a set? You know what, mate? Just go for it. Handle lever, just leather it round, please. I'd love to see you get through as well and us have both cars. Russell will not go out again. So I want him to get around quite quickly, so he's going to have to go around quick. Will he get around in time? He's not. <laughs> he didn't get round in time. I mean, another lap like that from Russell would not go amiss. That's an incredible qualifying. But if only it ends right now. That's absolutely incredible from Russell. So, yeah, let's see if he didn't get around to have another go. So, he qualifies 17th. Mazepin 20th. Mick Schumacher 19th. He has a dodgy neck, which should last another seven weeks, apparently. Giovinazzi is 18th, and Yuki Tsunoda is 16th. We do have a driver in Q2. Another lap like that, and I might just go berserk. That lap was absolutely incredible. I never expected anything like that from him. Absolutely incredible. Right, so Russell. We're going out, mate. Let's do this. Let's set a lap time to be proud of. It's just started to rain. We shall see whether the track is going to remain dry enough for us to set a, a competitive lap time on these drives. As long as it doesn't dampen too quick, we would be, we'll be fine. Okay. It's overheated and too cold. Well, we'll see. Everyone else is out there on Inters and they're going a lot quicker than we are. So, yeah. Uh, we're just a little short, unfortunately. It isn't, it's Inters weather. We will have to go and get Inters. There we go. And we are quite a bit slower. So, as he will come in. We will have to change to wet tyres. Oh no we won't. No we won't. Come on then George, show us what you've got. Oh, completely messed that up. Either way, it's purple sector one. Could go again with George here. Do I? We'll dip in now. We'll have to send him out. What, how many softs do we have left? How many would I need for the race, theoretically? Oh, 
I'm just going to take what I've got. You never know. We might need three for the race. So we're just going to take what we got. We'll see. I don't think we'll get... We're not going to get into Q3 with it. Bottas going really quick out there. And yet we're falling down the leaderboard. We are, we're definitely out. But we should at least do our sponsorship qualification. In fact, we only just missed out. We've only just missed out, which is a shame. But there we are, 11th place. It's not bad, that's not bad qualifying. We know George is quicker on this track, that's good to know. We just gotta utilize that pace. Now's the question. Who gets pole? We relax a little bit now. Hamilton's the early pace setter. <laughs> I thought Max was going to get it. But Lewis, with the fastest sector three, did enough to hold on to pop. There it is. Clarence, Checo's really not supporting his teammate too well. The Alfa Romeo, Kim, Kimmy's doing brilliantly in that Alfa. When you consider Giovinazzi's down here. He's always doing it quite high compared to Giovinazzi. Are you ready? Oh, no. we, we're in a good position, which means we're probably going to bottle it. So, race trim. Do we go for extra performance on the hard tyres? They'll come into play at some point, the hard tyres will definitely come into play. I think we're going to go softs for George, for the pace, the pure pace. But we will go for hard and race trim for Latifi. Because Latifi's got to make up ground. And Latifi... going to be starting how many laps it's 32 laps I could go that to that I'm going to start the Latifi on the hards confirm See if he's starting on hard tyres. I'm going to regret this. And George is starting on softs. Whew, let's get down to the grid. It was Hamilton on pole from Max. Valtteri and Rick, Danny Rick make up the second row. Sebastian Vettel and Lando Norris on the third row. Checo and Charles Leclerc, fourth row. Carlos Sainz and Kimi Räikkönen make up the top 10. You've then got George Russell planting that car in 11th. Brilliant drive. Fernando Alonso, 12th. Lance Stroll and Pierre Gasly on that 7th row. Esteban Ocon in 15th with Yuki Tsunoda in 16th. Then it's Nicholas Latifi on in 17th with Giovinazzi in 18th. And then Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin prop up the grid in that Has car, and even with a bad neck, he still out qualifies his teammate. Right, lights out. Go, go, go. How are we doing? Oh, Russell's gonna lose a place. Let's see if he's gained one. Russell's losing a few, any Russell's lost a few. Um, let's see how we go here. Let's see if he's gonna make it up. I think. 
15th is he or is he no I think Ocon's going to defend Russell's down in 13th now I'm just going to speed it up a little bit at this present moment in time we're just trying to preserve Latifi's tyres so in all honesty I'm trying to one stop with him I am trying to one stop with him so with him it's not so much getting places now it's about preserving those tyres and been able to one stop and just gaining them for the fact that we haven't got to pit again with Russell where we'll be doing a two stop I suppose it is a case of partially places now so we are going to push a little bit now and just try and get some places and now ERS and we've got back up to 11th it's where we'd want to be. Now we're into 10th. Brilliant drive from George at the moment. And Kimi Raikkonen will not want to give that. Oh, he's he's up to ninth. We'll just have a quick look. Latifi is now last place. Is he by far last place? No, he's he's just behind a little gaggle of cars. That's fine. As long as we can make the one stop work, it's fine. There is no rain on the horizon. Russell looks like he's about to be overtaken. We'll just watch this little bit. Mm, comes out of it in ninth place. He will now go back down to standard. We don't want to run out of these tyres too quickly. And Kimi will now look to make a move. Russell defends well. But if he's back up to 19th. And he's preserving those tyres really well. We've already got someone pitting. So Russell's up to seventh. And now he can just utilise the fact that he's, he's actually trying to get past. He's up into sixth. He's up into sixth. Leclerc's tyres just aren't as good. And that's where we're struggling now. Latifi's up into 16th. Latifi's making ground despite the fact that he shouldn't be in any place to really make much ground. But he is. Incredible driving. Russell up here now doing his bit in 6th. When we come round will be time for this lap is it this lap maybe we, we, we put him in or do we keep him out we keep him out because the close tires are worse the close tires are worse let's all go around once again and then when we come round once again there we go the clear pits now I put in for a George pit. What's everyone else doing? Everyone else going on to hards. So with George, if we do a hard, I don't think we can make a hard go to the end. So if we do hard and then come back to soft at the end, that should be all right. Um, just want to take that down. So we're going to pit George on this lap, currently running in third, and that means we can now focus on Latifi a little bit and his tyres, as he is running in thirteenth, uh, twelfth place, and he's got a whole lot of this saved up so we are going to utilise it now just to gain some gain some places get us moving forward so Russell in and he's coming out right behind Latifi who is in 11th place now now with Russell the question is do we get racy so who's Russell come out of? He's come out in front of Norris, Sainz, Leclerc, Vettel. So Russell's jumped a few cars here. Now when you think they've got to go again, 
pit of game. I'm going to put him on push because I know he's got a pit of game. And we will utilise some ERS because I know... Let's see if he's defending from him. There we go. He is through on Latifi now. And he can go a little race here, Russell. So, oh, trying to get up to this uh, Checo, but Checo's not having any of it, so we will just... We are just going to pause now. We're 44 laps. We're, we're 10 laps in. These are supposed to go 16 to 18 laps. They're not going to go that long for Latifi, and they don't. They probably definitely won't go that long for Russell, especially now. So we put him back down to neutral. I'm not entirely sure where everyone is. Um, Mazepin's up here. He hasn't pitted yet, so he's ahead of Latifi. Schumacher's ahead of Latifi. Gasly's having an awful race. Gasly's having an absolutely awful race. We've got to focus on the TV for a bit. So here is Nicholas. Because we've now got to solve the perfect time to bring him in. Is. Because at some point, he's got to come in. Russell's going well, he's an eighth. Russell is going well. So let's see if he's just been taken by Vettel who's on newer soft tyres. Nicholas Latifi. I'm getting twitchy. I'm getting twitchy on whether Gasly's crashed. Gasly's out. I don't know if that was there earlier, but he's out now. I'm getting twitchy because I know I need to bring him in, but at the same time, I want to make these tyres last as long as I can. Maybe if I'd put conserve, it would have happened. We haven't. He's going to go at 13th there, Schumacher. He's also still going on hard tyres. He's got to be this lap, in it? I think. I think he's got to be this lap that we bring him in. And then it'll be mediums to softs. He isn't going to be one stopping. He ain't been able to make the tyres last long enough. But it will be mediums. To soft, so he will be on a fast tyre at the end of the Grand Prix. So he will pit, and that now means we can focus on our George for a bit. He's having a nice race. And we are going to put his engine mode up to high. And see if he can just chase after Checo. Latifi is coming out in 19th. There's been a mistake on the tyres. So Russell's got Alonso behind him on fresher hards. But he is coming up to the back of Checo. back down to medium go for a bit of this to try and get past Checo and he's done it he's managed it he's past Checo what a driver this man is I might have to put one to him he's going to get overtaken by Checo just to get close to him again and he's past Checo again Pause. Latifi is in 19th. We're going to give him some ERS just to get some get some places. Here, hopefully, he's 
He's up to 15th. He does have to pit a game. But he's up to 15th. And here's George. So when George pits for the second time, we will be going on to hards again, I think. With the idea being, that's it, we're going to the end. Once we've come past, and we have. Ah. Oh, we've got an issue. Do we? Okay, so we go another lap. That's what we've got to do with George. We've got to go another lap. Go. he's gone past we can now do it and I'm now a bit more comfortable giving George the mediums he's got a few issues it's a little worrying I won't lie so George good pit and now we focus on Latifi for a little bit He's in a little bit of a world of his own. She's out just to see if... So Latifi did get past Miles up here. No he didn't, no he didn't. Okay, so Latifi is on 36%. Um, two Miles up in the gap is too much I think personally so it's got 2.2 seconds that's quite a lot in this game I don't see him being able to break that he's got signs behind him we all know we've got a pit again let's be honest we all know that it's just about knowing when to pit for Latifi for that final stint is it this lap? Is it next lap? I'm risking next lap. So I'm risking... I risked it to go to this lap. There's eight laps left. It's possible, but at what point is Latifi ever made it? We'll go with this one. Um, recharge battery, 50%. Yep. So then George, who's on 85% on his now, will have ERS to defend against Checo. Not only defend against Checo, blitz away from Checo. And get himself right up behind Lando who will be surely pitting again, looking at the state of those mediums. The fuel is piling up. You're not wrong. It is. Perez got past. We've given him a more racy engine mode. Now we'll give Latifi uh, feels like overtake mode might be hurting the engine. Okay. Um. Oh no. He's in the points. Don't do this to me. Don't you dare do this to me. He's in the points. It is a case of now just sitting tight and watching and hoping that the car makes it to the end. Four laps. Use a bit of ERS to try and defend from Checo. Where are we at? We're going to slow it down for the last couple of laps. Oh, the engine's going to go. The engine's going to go. 
I am so sorry, lads. The car ain't making it to the end. We will go, we'll try our best. One lap. Not even one lap. He's got worn tyres. He's got one lap more lap. Will the car make it to the end? And seventh has got passed. But Russell has actually managed to get a seventh place finish. It is more points for us. For Latifi again, it just went wrong from the start and it just kept going wrong. But for George, it worked. It worked very well. It's a seventh place finish for George. I don't know how the car made it to the end. The new engine obviously wasn't that good. Screw it. Please don't tell me we broke rules. No rules broken. Well, there you are. You gained four places. We got six points for that. So in the championship, he's 12th with seven overall. Which is fantastic after three rounds to have seven points already. It's brilliant. And in the constructors, it puts us seven points ahead of Haas. You know, they might nick the odd point, but they ain't going to pick. They ain't going to get seven in one race unless something major happens. Um, two points behind Aston Martin, so we've got a chance there. We've got, we've got a chance to gain on them. Hamilton seemingly dominating the season. But I suppose my next, what I'm going to be doing in between these two Portuguese Grand Prix is I'm going to be looking at a possible Latifi replacement. I've got a couple that I'm scouting. Um, and what was going on with George's engine. It was a brand new engine and it weren't working. But for today, guys, that is all a seventh place finish for George Russell. Absolutely fantastic. I'm over the moon. So if you've enjoyed this episode, please drop it a like. Give us a subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.